Welcome, welcome back to my channel. It feels weird to film two videos back to back, but I need to get these sit down videos done. But I'm gonna put a cleaning video between them. But today's video, if you didn't see the bottom, we are pregnant with baby number three. Oh, I hit. <laughs> It's been a roller coaster for 2024. Have you seen my health, my husband's health problems? That has been our roller coaster on top of me. Me being pregnant and Lord. <laughs> I don't know how to say it. Like it Um It's been a really roller coaster with this pregnancy. I'm not going to even lie. Um this is why I'm kind of in distance off of my YouTube and why YouTube has kind of been like the back burner a little bit because it's hard to do YouTube videos and not say oh, I'm pregnant or this and that and everything else and all that. I've been so, so, so tired of this pregnancy. It's not even funny. I will have a video up later that I filmed a while back that I talked about my first trimester and I wanted to film it before. I forgot about all the first trimester stuff that haven't fresh in my mind. So you're gonna get a video later I'm talking about the first trimester. It was a roller coaster in my first trimester. So, but this is why I have been distanced off of my YouTube and my TikTok in a way because I'm just so tired. Like this part, this pregnancy is I just weird to say. I guess that should talk about it. This pregnancy has been so much different that compared to my first two but I was in my 20s my first two I now I'm in my 30s and everything else by the time this baby comes I'll be 34 <laughs> so I'm getting there in the age so but our plan was always to have a third one I would love to have a fourth one but financially no having room for it no so three is it this is our last baby um I've always wanted a big family because I was the only child and then I was the only grandchild on both sides so I was very lonely so I always wanted my kids to have siblings but all that I always wanted that family unit of like coming in and out I have fat like I have because uh, our Christmas looks so small now looking at it and I'm like kind of glad I'm having a big family compared to what my family is and stuff like that so it's been a it's been a roller coaster <laughs> so but uh this baby is a lot more different than my other two um I did have an ultrasound today um and everything else baby looks good baby is very 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 active <laughs> compared to my other two <laughs> This baby's very active. I'm scared when I start to feel the baby kick and everything because it's like how active it is. It is. <sighs> Boo <-hoo. laughs> Um, It's probably why I'm so tired. Like my symptoms have been totally different this time around than my other one. So my other two. So it's been fun. Um, now that when I found out I was pregnant, it was during the Christmas time. And you remember that video I wrote, did, and I was like, this December it has been a roller coaster because I couldn't talk about it at the time, but it was a roller coaster because I found out I was pregnant on top of my oldest time of strep and the flu. <laughs> and then my husband got COVID and then we had death of the family. So December was a very interesting month. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I said December 2023 is going to go down on the books. Because it was a very interesting, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I really can't stand up and show you the bump because I don't think I have a bump here. It's growing. It's just I'm a big girl anyway, so I could have I had it a little longer than a lot of most some girls could, you know. So, um,. But dealing with my husband's help, like I said in that other video, and me being pregnant, it's been a very crazy year of 2024. On that, financially to other things like life 
has been been all right. It's been all right. I would really like that. It's just getting his health situated and then me being pregnant and getting ourselves ready for baby. It's been it's been different. <laughs> um. So, but yeah, I'm finally announcing it. Oh my god, I can't believe I'm finally announcing it. But baby is doing good. Baby is doing wonderful. <laughs> So far, so good. Um, and everything else. It does have my nose. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie. That baby is. That baby looks funny. I'm just saying. <laughs> but all my baby girl, baby ones, baby girls. Well, I have two girls. Um, I always had my nose. So I always like to pick about that. Cause they got that little nose. So, um, if you've been around, you know I've been wanting the third one. Um, we wasn't really, we were kind of yolo in it. This one was a YOLO baby. Um, my first one, it was a, <laughs> oops, there it is. Um, because I was young and everything else, I was like, not married, everything and it was just whoa <laughs> second one she was planned she was planned <laughs> like a, just saying this one was a yolo like if it happened it happened if it didn't didn't but i did get my tmi guys <laughs> um i did get my birth control out in about october and it did not take long to get pregnant I do the nurse at my um, doctor's office and picks with me every time I go there. And I'm very thankful and very blessed that I am able to get pregnant like that. And have no complications of getting pregnant because of how much stuff I see on TikTok. Um, also, a friend of mine, she has such a problem to have her baby. And she is living the dream right now with her little girl. Um, but seeing them struggle so much, I am always thankful and blessed and never take it for granted because of how i see people struggle that i am very thankful and blessed i also feel like it's kind of a curse because it's like i'm i'm for the myrtle um but to be able to get pregnant like that and get pregnant quickly or get pregnant without any complications and stuff like that so i'm always looking at my pregnancies like that to my pregnancies to my conceiving the baby and everything else i'm very blessed and very thankful of just healthy everything so it's just hope we continue i do say i do have horrible horrible deliveries um which i'll probably talk about towards the time i give birth and stuff and talk about my my birth stories of my previous t two and this one and everything else i want to talk about more about that when it gets closer you know because you, you gotta have the fun part of like what's in my hospital bag what's in the diaper bag what's in this and now i'm actually excited to do stuff like that like i love watching those kind of videos and i'm excited now i can actually film those anyway i've been through Two times already it's my third time so and i'm still like am i ready <laughs> kind of thing anyway i went through this two times before am i ready do we have everything i'm not playing <laughs> so that's why i'm kind of been working on my house lately of everything getting re decluttered and stuff because we're making room for baby um the girls have been sleeping in one room lately because they choose to. My daughter, well, my oldest daughter still has her bed. We're going to keep it up because I told him, I was like, I don't want to take it down in storage. It's just more of a hassle to move it and put it in storage and have it wrapped up and everything so it don't get damaged. It's just, we're going to move the bed towards the window more. So, but they've been, it's up to her if she wants to go sleep back in her bedroom. <laughs> But lately, they've been sleeping in the bunk beds lately, and that is what they've been doing lately. It's just, I have to do a lot more rearranging with their clothes, with the baby's clothes, to their rooms, and everything else. So that's the fun part. 
But other than that, yeah. <laughs> but baby is good. I was going to wait till I had my second ultrasound of my pregnancy. What you guys know, it's the halfway mark. So I'm halfway. So I've kept this a secret for a good minute here. It's just, I wanted to keep it to myself a little bit. And just go with the flow with it first. Because mentally, you see my first trimester. Mentally, I just haven't, it just hasn't been the best mentally. Re, like, because I think I'm dealing with other things on top of being pregnant. And it's just, mentally, I'm just haven't got quite, I'm excited to have a baby. I'm ready for those moments. But I think what it is, is that. I just have a lot of other things going on and I can't really quite enjoy it yet, but not only that, I'm just going through some other stuff and and I really want to talk about it more um, and everything else, but I also want to finally announce it because then I can actually talk about it because um, it, it kept. Because I couldn't really say why I haven't put a YouTube video up today. Or this and that. Or this week. It's I can't say I'm pregnant and I'm flipping tired. <laughs> I can't really say it because that's really what it has been lately. I have been exhausted. There's days I have splurts. And I'm like, oh, we're going to get stuff done today. Like right now, I still got stuff from the trip. And it's Tuesday. In the afternoon, I took me a nap. <laughs> in the afternoon, and I got trash everywhere here. I gotta, I gotta throw this away. I just like, just like, come on. It's been a very hard road this pregnancy, but I'm about to get started cleaning here and there. But, but yeah, I wanted to announce and finally talk about it. But I'm gonna put my cleaning video that I'm gonna work on to sometime today or maybe tomorrow, and. And then you'll have this announcement. But it's been a roller coaster. It's been a very interesting 2024. But I have been very thankful and blessed that I'm having a healthy pregnancy so far. Um, and I'm very thankful this baby was very active in the ultrasound. Which I'm not used to because my, girl, my girls before they... They just kind of like chilled. They're like my vibes. They're chilling. <laughs> you know what I mean? This one was like everywhere. Everywhere. She. <laughs> this baby was everywhere. Like it was. I was like, are you good? Then <laughs> I just said, she was like, I think this baby's mad at you. And I was like, it probably is. Because I didn't eat breakfast this morning. I got up because it was an early appointment. Got me something to drink so I could whip, you know, whip the baby up, you know. And then bop. <laughs> Like she, uh, uh, it's a bit of mess. So, would I do a gender reveal video? I filmed me telling my girls; they already know. So I might just slip and say what it is here and there, but I don't think I'm gonna do a gender reveal. I think I'm just gonna be like, I'm not gonna be those ones that wait to the, like make just a separate video to tell the baby's name and stuff. Cause I don't know if I want to. I might say the first name, and that is it. But I'm not gonna make a separate video like that. I might just like slip up and just say what the baby's gender is. And you probably saw me slip up already in this video what the baby is and everything. So, but yeah. Yep, baby is healthy, baby is good. I'm looking at his pictures and I'm like, oh my god, that baby is me though. Look at that head! Oh, look at the thing. It's got cheeks. Look at that cushioning. Now, you know what I told my parent, my mom? It, the most exciting part. Oh my god, I want to tear. I was happy t tears, really. It's that not waiting to see what the gender is, because I always like to find out before I can plan. It's not seeing the baby kick for the first time. It is cool, but it's seeing the baby for the first time and seeing 
you will never have those experience again with your kids again after they're born it's that first look of like who they look like what they look like what their personality is they like i think that's when i'm ready to i'm not rushing my pregnancy because this is my last pregnancy i'm trying to enjoy every moment of it but i think what it is is that you really just meet your baby for the first time one time only and you waited nine months to see what the baby looks like because you can see an ultrasound here and there but it's nothing like seeing them face to face for the first time and hearing that cry i hope she ain't too active because i always get scared out of bill court that bill court scares me she was very active and i'm like slow down don't get yourself tangled i don't have time for that <laughs> I'm, not, I'm like that double cord can be dangerous it keeps him alive but it can be dangerous i've seen yeah i just i got but um but yeah it's probably why i got so many pictures this time around compared to my last two it's that this baby moved around <laughs> compared to my other two oh uh, so but yes that is my big secret of the year. <laughs> now I can finally talk about it in my videos. Talk about it when I go to appointments. I can finally talk about it, period. So, um, but yeah. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.